uh, the first value this week that I want to talk about, he's a Baltimore Ravens wide receiver, Rashad Bateman. He's played two games so far in his pro career, and in those two games, he's averaged a target share per game of 18%. That's respectable. That's not bad. The Ravens have been more pass-heavy than in recent seasons, and they have the fourth-highest implied team total on this slate against a team that ranks the seventh-best opponent when looking at adjusted fantasy points allowed to wide receivers. So I think Bateman's a nice, cheap way to get exposure to that game against Minnesota. There's also Kadarius Toney, who's $5,700. Sterling Shepard's going to be out this weekend. That makes Toney an even safer option as long as he's healthy. This past week in Tony's return, he didn't do a whole lot, but he was able to see a 15% target share in that game against Kansas City, and I'd expect that to rise without Shepard in the lineup and with Tony another week removed from that ankle injury. We know he has a crazy ceiling. I'm going to buy into that potential ceiling at just $5,700. And then finally, Zach Moss. The Bills get the Jags this week, and they have the highest implied team total on this slate. As big favorites, they could end up leaning on the run game pretty heavily. And if that's the case, Zach Moss is the back in that backfield that I prefer. Not only has he seen 15 targets over his last three games, but he's seeing about 60% of the team's running back rushes while also being the goal line guy. So you're associating Zach Moss with a team that should score a lot of points, that could be ahead. I think he's a nice value.